979-980. We've got Bryce Miller and the Mariners at plus 132. Walker Bueller and the Dodgers at minus 147. Total of eight and a half flat across the board at minus 110. It's a tough one for me, B-Dub. Look, I need the Dodgers to start losing. I would like it if the Yankees had the best record at the end of the year. Of course, I'm going against them today. But Walker Bueller, has he looked sharp to you since he's been back? I'm not exactly sure uh, what we do with Mariners-Dodgers here. We've got a, the Mariners. That offense is as, almost as frustrating as to watch as the White Sox. I'm not kidding. They're very frustrating. Uh, what are we doing with Mariners-Dodgers uh, here, B-Dub? You know, it's a stay away for me, Kyle, but I, I am interested to know what price you got if you, off the top of your head, if you can remember, on the Yankees with the best record. Because I think that that's 12 to 1. 12 that's got to some one. legs, dude. That's I got know, some legs. And we, close, we, we mentioned probabilities, and if I could just maybe pull this up real fast here, uh, probability of the Yankees having, well, it's not as good as I thought, uh, Kyle, sorry. Uh, 15, yeah. 15%, so that's still better than 12 to 1, so you're doing all right. Uh, who was so base winner? Who is your team to have the ba- and this is apropos for this game Dodgers 31 percent to have the best record yeah. in baseball is what the simulations are churning out uh, as far as this game goes I'm going to stay away from it I've got a price at minus 121 and you would think well maybe you'd lean a little bit to Seattle and you did make a good point about Bueller he has not been sharp in fact 17.6 percent strikeout percentage not not Walker Bueller, maybe more Walker Texas Ranger on that. Uh, 23rd percentile for him. Uh, you know, the, this Dodgers and Muncy came back last night and, and jacked one. Uh, this offense is is hard to bet against, and that's kind of why why I kind of didn't bet against him. Second in baseball versus a, a Seattle. Uh, that offense is a mess. 23rd in baseball. Both bullpens are good, but like, if, if you're a Seattle backer, like, what more does Woo! Need to do last night, then do what he did, and and you know he hits the prop bet for the strikeouts. He limits them to to I think I don't think he allowed a run maybe, um, but but he pitched a solid game, and so yeah. like you got to score more than zero runs to win the baseball game, Kyle. That's there, yeah, there we go. There, there's a, there's another phrase for you. Yeah, yeah, you got to score more runs than the other team. At the end of the day, we're just trying to score more points than the other team. I mean, how many head coaches just say that after an NFL game? It's completely useless. Uh, Corby, what do you got in this one? The Mariners? It's like, look, and I have a future on them, too, 8-1 to one to win this division. I don't think they're going to get there. Uh, I like their pitching. Everyone likes their pitching. But this offense, with all this talent on it, I mean, you have guys who should be good professional hitters on this team. And they just can't get it done. Is it, it? I don't know if it's just the weather and the doom and gloom of Seattle. Washington's a weird state. The people are freaking weird. The drivers are awful. I mean, it's crazy. I, I spent my sister lives in Seattle, and I, it's the weird. The people are freaking weird in Washington. I don't know if it's just because they're right next to Canada, and we know how we feel about those damn Canadians. But uh, <laughs> I kid. We 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 love you up in Canada. But uh, what do you think about this one, Corby? Mariners, Dodgers. Yeah, I'm going to have a bet, and then I'm going to have a much more fun live bet here. Uh, the the normal bet's going to be the over. I think I got eight and a half even money. Um, I could be wrong there. They might have they might have squeezed me. Uh, it was moving around all morning. So a few things. First off, Bryce Miller's great. I, I think he throws really hard. Um, the issue is I, I don't think he has that much deception. I, I think people kind of overestimate. I, like, I would put Logan Gilbert over Bryce Miller pretty handedly. Uh, granted, Logan Gilbert much taller so of course i would but uh bryce miller looks good uh, the thing is like if you see this kind of picture well you you see him well very small sample size 18 plate appearances 294 average for the dodgers so i don't think this is a team that's going to get fooled by just fast pitches 95 mile per hour fastball like um they're good enough at this point to to hit bryce miller on the other side is walker bueller who is one of my favorite pitchers he has been for quite some time and i'll be the first one to tell you like there's there's another one. I'll be the first one to tell you. Well, I probably am not the first one to tell you that Walker Bueller does not look good. Uh, I I can almost promise you that. Uh, <laughs> he he doesn't look good in the fact that he's still throwing as hard as he can, which is great. Uh, I talked about this on the last show. Is he's like, he's a very average Joe sized guy. Like he throws hard, but it's 100% conviction. The issue is he has no command at all because of it. He he's just chunking the baseball. And I actually sent Kenny. Uh, he was on the show. I think it was Friday. Uh, Walker Bueller faced the Brewers, um, and I took Bryce Terang to record a steal, the, the first guy in the lineup uh, for the Brewers to record a steal. 
Walker Buehler walks him first first at bat, and he steals first on the very first pitch. So I'm going to go with it again today, as you can see the live button. Give me Julio Rodriguez to record a steal plus 309 bet US. Um, the issue is I don't think Walker Buehler, first off, he has a pretty slow move to first. Second, I don't think he really cares. Like He is much more focused on the fact that he cannot hit a strike zone right now. Like He walked four guys in the last game. His ultimate worry... He's getting a guy struck out at home plate. Uh, Julio Rodriguez, very fast. He also has a really high expected batting average. A guy that we haven't heard of a ton this year, but I do think inevitably he's a really good player. So he's going to get a lot of chances. Uh, Julio Rodriguez to record a steal, plus 309, bet US. There we go. A couple of plays in this one. Daryl Turner says Seattle and Boston people are just weird, Kyle. It's a coastal thing, okay? And I, I suppose so, like North Coast, right? Because like San Diego, the people are chill. LA, you know, they're a little... L.A., they're a little uptight just because you live in L.A. and you have you. It takes you four and a half hours to get everywhere. So it's very, very stressful uh, to be an L.A. resident. But for purposes of the show, we've got the over. What is this? Eight and a half in this game over eight and a half at minus one ten for Corby. Mm. And then we're adding the live bet Julio Rodriguez to record a steal. And that's at plus three oh nine off of Walker Bueller.